Hello and welcome back to the Autoloons YouTube channel. We are once again playing some Gran Turismo Sport and what we have today is something really really special. Now there have been a lot of new cars, especially Group X cars that have been added to the game in the last couple of updates. But what, uh, what we're going to be looking at today is something which is a little bit extra special. Not because it is cooler than any of the other Group X cars in the game, but because Audi has joined the Vision Gran Turismo concept car party and this car has been five years in the making and it's finally come out. You could check it out in Pan Central. So here we have it. Now this is as you would notice a group one classification or division Gran Turismo. But that's just a version of the super cool thing that Audi has made. Because the one that's really crazy is the Audi e-tron VGT. Because this is Audi's all-electric racer. And they've actually built a running prototype of this thing. Can you believe it? Of all the different VGT cars in the game, Audi, who joined the you know the party really really late, didn't just come with a really cool car. They said Here's the car, and here is the car. So, since it is a running prototype, thanks to some of the technology that uh, their Formula E team has been developing, it looks quite near future. Like, it doesn't look out completely outlandish or near impossible like some of the other Group X cars in this game. So, what we have in this particular e-tron BGT are three 220 kilowatt electric motors which uh, according to the game produced 803 brake horsepower to most of the media releases for the real world car it put just about 815 brake horsepower uh, torque uh, reports on the real life version they haven't mentioned a torque figure yet but from the torque figure in the game we did we can calculate that comes to around 1000 newton meters of torque which is surprising considering the power to torque ratio that electric cars usually have so we're not 100% sure if that is the final figure for the torque output. It does have a very tricked out quattro four wheel drive system and with the curb weight of just 1450 kilos, this thing can do 0 to 100 kph in just 2.5 seconds. Now you might say the Tesla Roadster and Rimax future hypercar are sub 2 second cars. True. But this thing is more than just straight line acceleration and speed. This is a proper track car, hence all those aerodynamic elements in the design. The wings, the inlets, the outlets, the vents, the wide body stance, the massive rear ring, all that presence, all that tech is for the track. So it can go really fast around every single corner and every single straight. Now one of the reasons they made a functional prototype of a Vision Gran Turismo concept car is because Audi wanted to show, show showcase to the world that electric cars even from OEM manufacturers aren't just gonna be about uh, range or comfort or autonomous driving they still have very exciting electric cars from your regular manufacturers and that is very true considering Audi is about to release their first all-electric vehicle um, later this year or early next year the, the use for this functional prototype is not just to, you know, run rings around their uh, test track in Ingolstadt. This particular prototype, the, the real life version, will be at the Formula E races, you know, left in this season, which you can uh, follow on our website, Formula E, uh, updates and race reports on autoloons.com, and they will be do offering passenger laps. And if you're as eager as me to get a chance in one of these cars, be sure to pack your brown pants. What is also interesting is that the this particular this the Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo made its global premiere simultaneously in both realms, our real world and the virtual world of VGT. Uh, one more interesting thing about this car so far is that if you look at the livery on this thing, that is a throwback to an iconic uh, race car from the 1980s. I think the precise year is 1989, that was the Audi Quattro IMSA GTO. 
So the livery is kind of like a throwback to that classic race car from Audi on this amazingly fantastic looking futuristic but near future electric race car with almost 815 brake horsepower. So let's go ahead and buy this thing and uh, see what it's like on the track. Alright, so we are keeping things relatively German by taking this Audi concept Vision Gran Turismo electric race car on the Nürburgring GP track. Now one of the things I noticed right away is usually when you load a circuit on GT Sport and a particular car, the, this particular screen has a you know animation where that car is running laps around the circuit and you can hear it. In this case, all you hear is a little whine of electric motors. There is one change straight away. And uh, I think this is the first all electric cars we are testing out in this series in GD Sport. And possibly the only all electric car in this game at this point. I could be wrong. But let's get into it. Okay, so we're starting off in cockpit view mode. And as you can tell by the little display at the bottom center of the screen, this is a single speed setup which is pretty regular uh, for an all-electric powertrain to have a single speed gear gearbox or maybe just you know just have a direct drive system you know um, more details about how that works you know uh, you can read on the full story on this Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo concept car on Audiloons.com but first impressions this thing has a lot of grip yes I'm running it on super softs so that helps but it is quite grippy the second thing is uh, I have been you know in the game been driving group 3 and group 2 cars l lately so in terms of how it manages weight and braking it's not quite on point with those cars at least from what I can tell and the second part is because it's electric and there's no you know, you don't bang into any gears. You can't really tell how fast you're going unless you keep an eye on the speedometer. So you, you know, you're just floating it, and it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. And you're suddenly like, oh wait, I need to kind of brake sooner than I usually would because I'm going faster than I usually would. So it takes a little bit of adapting to kind of switch from your standard internal combustion engines with anti-lag turbos to an all-electric race car but it is definitely brisk that's for sure all right so what we're gonna do now is gonna stop on the street switch to the outside view and let's do a little bit of a acceleration run. Brakes and accelerator pressed and go. Okay, 170 miles per hour before reaching the usual, the usual braking point on the Nürburgring circuit. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Of course, with traction control on, you know, it does make the car, the you know, the acceleration times are a bit slower. So maybe we can try that again without traction control. Maybe in this little stretch and see how it does from like the 0 to 100 miles per hour. Traction control off. And 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, the acceleration is much quicker with traction control off. But let's see how hard it is to drive with traction control off. Actually, if you kind of take it easy, it's not entirely unmanageable. That's where I guess the quattro uh, system really comes into play compared to your standard, you know, all rear wheel drive or rear biased uh, race cars. Uh, another thing about the design is it is. Uh, it is striking, but it is f comforting in the fact that it is still a little R8-ish. I mean, I'm not saying that the two are the same, but the fact that 
it's still a recognizable Audi sports car with an all-electric powertrain, massive wing, wide body kit, and plenty of grunt. Well, in this case, plenty of electric power to go with it. Now, so it's not hard to imagine Audi then kind of, you know, raising the ride height a little bit, getting rid of some of the extreme arrow, and maybe making a road legal version of this. So things are looking good in the all-electric future of the car industry. And now it's time for a cinematic lap. That's all folks for this episode, uh, if you enjoyed the content be sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, check out the blog autoloons.com for more car news, motorsports updates and race reports. Uh, and yes, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you thought of the Audi e-tron Mission Gran Turismo. Should more brands have running prototypes of these amazing Mission Gran Turismo concept cars and you know, get a little more closer to what our current state of cars is and not and while we enjoy you know the lovely concepts that hyundai and mclaren and so many other companies in this game have come up with would you also like cars that are a little more close to reality or at least have a running prototype of all those concept cars let me know what you let me know what you think in the comment below let me know what you want what you would like to see next from the autoloons and i will see you next time